What is good guys? So right now I am uh, just chilling on my futon. Just got up like not 45 minutes ago. Uh, I'm gonna quickly put on the clips from yesterday's vlog, start to edit that, get that uploaded, and then we can start today. So come along, enjoy it. And got the uh, 10 7 16 vlog all edited and rendering. I'm gonna quickly jump in the shower and uh, I'll be back in two seconds. Nice and refreshed after the shower. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play some Fallout 4 for a little bit, join. What? You wanna see Dudley? Do uh, come here. <laughs> Come on, Lou. Sit down. Ready? Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Oh my god, I feel like I jump high as fuck right there. Orion and Dylan just got back from picking up the new tractor that is going to be used as a, uh, the trailer dolly at the new storage unit, so I'm about to head down there. We're gonna go to Harbor Freight, pick up a new welder, and we're gonna upgrade to the 170 or 180 amp MIG welder that requires uh, gas, or has a gas hookup, and it's a 220 volt plug, so uh, that's what we're doing. Oh, like, making a shit ton of noise. That's pathetic. We're trying to get a slag hammer, and the slag hammer comes stock with the, uh, with the welder. But the stock slag hammer is absolute, absolute junk, so we want a nice, decent one to clean our welds because we're sick of looking at disgusting welds. So we found the slag hammer. It was literally right in front of us, $5.99. This is going to make our welds look a lot better. Oh, yeah, they have, like, act like not, I wouldn't say decent welders, but... I ain't using that. You want look, at, they, have a, they have a spot weld and everything here. The 90 amp, dude. We're stuck with this welder for the fifth time, dude. Damn it. Dude, real I want that 240, dude. Yeah. I know. For some reason, I'm more excited about this slag hammer <laughs> than I am the welder. about the welder because I know this is gonna make our welds look good. So. We've been down this road all too many times. Yeah, we about to head to the shop right now. Actually, to Lowe's, grab some metal, and then back to the shop, and then we're gonna try to custom fab up some way to be able to attach a hitch to the front or back of the trailer. We haven't, or back of the tractor. We haven't decided yet. So. We have no covers on the letters. Oh yeah, dude. Like always, oh, the only one with a cover. Mm-hmm. The metal aisle is always different every single goddamn Lowe's we go in. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, right where those wood pillars are is where the one in Torrington would be. Alright, so this is our uh, solution for our own box. We're gonna take, well, we're only gonna buy one because we only have to cut it in half, but we're gonna take one of these, cut it in half, and we're gonna make our own box, but the problem is. This little lip right here is a little too thick, too far so away. like it keeps it's it like, like that length like right gap. there. Yeah. So I'm gonna put a piece of flat metal like this, and then when I weld it, these edges will melt into the the flat piece of metal or the the angle iron. So it should be it should be good. It should work. We uh, just arrived to the shop, and I'm gonna go ahead and apologize right now about the lighting because the lighting all around the shop area and inside the shop is definitely not the best, but. I'll try my best to uh, keep the lighting good. Like we have a couple of shop lights in there we can turn on, but we about to unload this bitch and to uh, we can start fucking welding this shit on. Hopefully it works as out as well as we fucking think it's going to. Does this beauty start up first try? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you got to sit down and throw it in neutral and do all this shit. So it was. Long. It's definitely a hundred percent better than that old, like the, the one we got before. That rickety shit. Yeah. Box, yeah. All right. Good. And Hell yeah, dude. 
So we got the baby all pulled in. Honestly, dude, for 200 bucks, she's fucking mint. All we she have to do to her, it. yeah, she really does. All dude, we have to do to her. You choked it when you. When yeah, I know. When you mad at it, it's yeah. choking it. Like yeah. you, there's a point where it stops. Like right I there. I figured it out after twice. And then you choke the it. The second time, but all we have to do to it is take the mower off, and we're pretty much done. No, that's what, Make this yeah, hitch. There's, there's a bunch of little CSBs yeah. that can go, and the guy was saying. Was she's mint though. 200 bucks. I got the uh, the sander all ready. I'm about to sand this whole area down. I'm only gonna do like this general area right here because we're only gonna get like three good welds on it. One weld right here, one weld right here, and then one weld on the top. Cause when I used uh, Ty's welder, that's the gun I had. His Harbor Freight. Yeah, one. so I guess they have upgraded guns, which is nice because the it click feels mechanism feels better. So much better. Yeah, like it's not gonna mush yeah. on you in a in a year. Mm -hmm. So I got this spot all uh, sanded down to my best of my ability. I couldn't get the sticker out, but I don't have to really worry about it because the box is gonna be covering that, if you know what I mean. So weld there, weld there, right there. Now we can start with the box. All right, so far I got the box uh, all tacked up. Only two sides needed the uh, the flat bar to complete it because that little gap you can see in the front. But so far it's pretty symmetrical, and I'm gonna go ahead and finalize all these welds, and then all we have to do is drill a hole. All right, so I just finished welding up the uh, the actual receiver that is gonna take the uh, the hitch, and all we have to do is weld it up to the uh, to the tractor. And honestly, dude, here I'll get you some light. Let me hold on. It's turning. And honestly. It came out pretty mint. Like, it can't be any better of a fit. As you see, it's completely perfect square. Here. Good weld. It's not going to break. Like perfect, that. perfect Literally fit. Literally, you got to drill a fit. hole, right? Yeah. Right so, we got to do two things. We got to drill two holes and we got to weld it to that. I'm sorry if it's a little dark, but we got the holes both drilled. Goes all the way through. So, I'm going to work on getting this welded to the tractor. And then Orion is going to try to find a bolt that can go all the way through this that has a big end that will stop it and then be able to put a bolt on the end of it. All right guys, so I just finalized all the welds on this. I got a little supportive piece because as you guys know, like I told you, one side will be lopsided, so this was the side that needed the extra support. Then we made some fucking hack-ass pin that holds it in, and uh, all we have to do now is take this out, switch it out for the two or the two inch ball, because this is a two uh, and five sixteenths, and then uh, we're good to tow the fucking wood trailer. We're gonna tow the wood trailer around the parking lot just to test it out. Quickly about to uh, spray one coat of this, uh, what is this, satin fucking black on it yeah, just so yeah. it doesn't rust right spray away. Spray the entire, I like, will. Yeah, there you go. You can get up, like, in the grundle, up in the bottom. 
That's the glando right there, dude. Mm. All right, guys, I'm sorry about my dirty face, but it's all set. All the welds are finalized. It's painted. We got the trailer hooked up, so we're about to take it out in the pouring ass rain and fucking test it. We're all gonna get soaked. I'm not gonna bring my can or my camera just because of the fact that I don't want my camera dying. If you guys want to see like actual tests, it check out Ryan's channel. Also check out Dylan's channel because they're they're risk they're risking their cameras. I'm gonna have you pull. We are all soaked and dirty, so we're gonna head home, take a shower, and then continue the night. All right, guys, we are back. I just hopped out of the shower. We're just gonna chill for the rest of the night. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, definitely go down to the comment section, leave some feedback, leave a like if you liked it, leave a like if you didn't like it, and I will see you guys tomorrow.